integrate secant cubed of x solution. So we're going to do this using integration by parts. So recall the formula for parts says that the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. All right, so we have to identify our u and our dv. So we can rewrite this as maybe, I don't know, secant x, secant squared x, dx. Uh, and it's pretty clear that we're going to want our u to be secant x, right? Why? Well, because if your u is secant squared x, then you have to use the chain rule to differentiate. And what should your dv be? Well, dv has to be the rest. So dv will be secant squared x dx. And that's okay, because we know how to integrate secant squared. Uh, it, integrates to it integrates to tangent. So here, du will be secant x, tangent x, and v will be tangent x. And don't forget the dx. Okay, so now we have to use the formula for parts. Now, I'm going to call this i. It just makes it a lot cleaner. So i is equal to uv, so secant x, tangent x, minus the integral of v du. So it looks like secant x tangent squared x dx. Now we have to deal with this integral. Now we have little tricks like uh, even secant save a secant squared doesn't work. It fails. Odd tangent save a secant tangent doesn't work. Fails. So what we'll do is we'll rewrite this and we'll use an identity on tangent. So i is equal to secant x tangent x. And it's really important to write everything down. It's just a good habit to get into. And in this problem, it is necessary. And you'll see why. <laughs> so, so tan squared, that's going to be secant squared x minus 1 dx. All right, let's keep breaking this up. So we end up with i is equal to secant x tangent x minus secant cubed x dx, right? Because we're distributing. And then minus and minus and minus is plus. So we get plus secant x dx, right? So we get i equals secant x tangent x minus, well, what's this? This is i, right? Remember, i is our original integral, which is secant cubed x dx. So it showed up again. Plus, and how do you integrate this? This is the natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus tangent x. If you don't know how to do that, it's totally worth learning how to do. Uh, to finish, we'll add i to both sides. So if we add i to both sides, so plus i cancels plus i, we get 2i equals secant x tangent x plus the natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus tangent x. To finish, divide by 2 and add the plus c. So i is equal to secant x tangent x plus the natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus tangent x all divided by 2. And then we'll add the plus c at the very, very end. So that's how you integrate a uh, secant cube. There are other ways to integrate it, but I believe this is the easiest way.